Well, hey there, my name is Robert. Thanks for joining us for yet another episode of Your Word for the Day. Today we're continuing through our study of the book of Psalms, and what I've always found so refreshing about Psalms is the honesty and transparency of the messages. If the psalmist was angry or frustrated, he let that be known to God. If he was overwhelmed with emotion, he let that be known. And similarly, if he was overwhelmed with love and worship and affection for God, that came out as well. And I think this is a great picture of how we are to be with our relationship with God, that no matter what we're thinking or feeling, we just let that be known to God. And what I want to share with you Psalm chapter 9, verses 1 and 2, as we think about that. And, and this passage says this. It says, I will give thanks to the Lord with my whole heart. I will recount all of your wonderful deeds. I will be glad and exalt in you. I will sing praise to your name, O Most High. See, as the psalmist here sharing his love for God and pouring that out, I think we see something really significant about the reason for that. And that is that we will be able to worship God more effectively when we take time to think and process what he's done in our life. And for those of us that are followers of Jesus, I think there's a healthy process and habit of reflection and processing on the past. Because when we think and process on what God has done for us, it helps us as we move forward in life and in faith and obedience to Him. And here's what that looks like. As we think back on our life, our struggles, our hurts, our hangups, our sin, our obstacles in life that we overcame, and as we process how God helped us, saved us, redeemed us, rescued us from that empty way of living that we had, it helps us build confidence in who He is. First, it helps us understand that God is good, that He's faithful, that He works in our life in amazing ways. And I think there's two really distinct things that it does. One, as we think back on what God has done and on those marvelous deeds, it first gives us reasons to worship. It gives us a renewed sense of glory and gratitude to who God is and what's he, what He wants to do in our life as we recount all those things. And it helps us to, as the psalmist says, gladly exalt His name. And secondly, it gives us stronger faith for future situations. See, when we come up on facing new trials, new difficulties, new issues, the remembrance of God's goodness in the past helps us to have faith, to trust, and rely on Him as we move forward. So today, let me encourage you to spend a few minutes remembering and processing the past. What has God saved you from? What has God restored and redeemed in your life? What has God done to bless and help you in your life? What are some marvelous deeds that God has done for you? Because when we remember those, we get a new reason to worship Him and to more fully trust in Him. That's our prayer for you today, and we hope that you have a great day as you reflect and recount on all God's goodness. We'll see you next time.